guys. So um, I thought I would do a what I eat in a day kind of video and kind of show you how I meal prep. Um, I was originally going to be filming like an ab workout to share with you guys this week. Um, but yesterday on the way to school, um, I got into a car accident and I'm very sore and um, I think I'm probably recovering pretty well. I just have really bad whiplash in my neck and um, just kind of overall really sore and so I'm really taking it easy this week. I'm not going to be um, going to the gym. Maybe I'll take some walks here and there but I am just really trying to take it easy. Um, so I thought I would share with you at least some part of my week so I'll do a what I eat in a day kind of video and this is a good day for it. I'm not really doing anything except for some schoolwork and um, yeah, it's a good day to show you what I'm eating. Um, So, for breakfast today, I'm making Kodiak um, Power uh, Cakes. These are the protein packed and the buttermilk ones. So I'm just doing that and I'm adding blueberries into it. The goal right now is to really just increase protein because the more protein you eat, you know, the faster your body is going to heal. And um, that's really important to me right now, just getting my muscles back on track. Um, I'm adding some blueberries because I got blueberries when I went grocery shopping and they're really good. And I use almond milk when I make my Kodiak cakes and I also add in an egg um, to get extra protein. So then I have some egg whites working here, which is going to be really protein packed and good for me. And uh, I can find egg whites like really boring, so I always like to add some salsa and some cheese. So there's breakfast. Okay. So this is my next meal. I just have, I don't know, probably about eight uh, sweet mini bell peppers. And then I have some red pepper hummus here. Uh, this is like a typical snack for me. It's like a midday kind of booster. Uh, lunch for me, it's hit or miss because if I'm working on a lot of school that day, I typically don't eat um, like a big heavier lunch and especially because a lot of times I eat a late breakfast because I fast typically until I'm done at the gym or um, I'll eat something like small to hold me over and then I'll have my main breakfast um, but this is just like a little lunch for me. I am just about to finish um, with my meal prep. I'm making the grains and the vegetables that are going to go along with my nuts. Um, I picked up this protein pasta. I'm really excited to try it. Um, it has 11 grams of protein for three fourths cup serving, and there are six servings in each box. Um, so I'm interested in trying this out. 
and it looks really good. And then I'm doing some brown rice for some other ones. And um, for vegetables, what I have, I'm steaming some green beans right now. And then uh, I have some bean sprouts that I'm gonna be steaming as well. And um, I'm gonna be adding some sun-dried tomatoes to some of them. And uh, sauce-wise, I might make some of my own sauces. I have some black beans I want to uh, be mixing in sauce-wise. I am going to be uh, either making some white sauce for some of them or something like that. So I think I'm also going to film a little bit of a tamper day for you guys. I'm part of this video meal prep is tamper day. Um, so I just got in the mail. I ordered this online because if you guys remember back in the day, Sentiment had this ultra moisturizing shaving cream. Uh, it was really inexpensive. It was amazing. I loved it. It's, it was like everywhere when I first started shaving. And it was like my favorite thing to use. And uh, they don't sell it like in stores anymore. And so the other day I was like, you know what? I'm going to look online and see if I can find it. Walgreens online coming through. I found this. And I ordered two of them. And I'm really excited about it because these are like bomb. If it's the same formula as it was when I was younger, these are bomb. And I wish that they still sold them in stores. <laughs> but, um, because I've been thinking about it when I was younger. I don't remember ever, ever getting razor burn. And I always use the shaving cream. Coincidence? I don't know. But I'm going to test it out again. Hopefully it's as good as I remember it. So um, I am going to take a bath today. I think it'll be nice for my whiplash I'm having. And yeah, back to the meal prep. Okay, so here's my meal prep all completed. There's... Uh, four chicken days and two turkey days. This turkey that I used is 99% um, lean, only 1% fat. So it doesn't have too much flavor, but we're gonna add sauces when it's time to eat it. Same goes for that one. And then this is cayenne lime chicken with um, some rice, some beans, tomatoes. When I go to eat this, I do wanna add avocados to it because I do have avocados right now. And then this one's like a completely done meal. This is chicken green beans, protein pasta. I made like some white sauce with some um, sun-dried tomatoes in it and that's what both of those are. So those are my meal preps. And then sometimes you just need something a little sweet. So I'm having this like berry pie cheesecake-y thing, but it looked really good. I'm just having a little bit of it. Cause why not, right? So for today's lunch, I'm having um, the chicken, green beans, and then the protein noodles with the um, sun-dried tomatoes white sauce for my lunch. So for dinner, I'm just finishing out this um, little meal prep that I showed you guys for lunch. And it's like a little snack thing. I'm having some graham crackers and almond milk. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I might have. I might have some more graham crackers, maybe some fruit, something like that. But Maybe a couple bites of chocolate, and yeah, we'll see. So while I show you guys my pamper routine, I thought it would be really important to talk about self-care and really finding the balance between pushing yourself and working hard and finding moments to take a step back and just to relax. I'm typically not the kind of person who rests and relax a lot because I find that I have a really busy schedule and I don't always want to because I don't always feel like it's worthwhile. But if anything, this week has taught me that it's so important to rest and recover, especially after something traumatic happens or something unexpected. Remember that self-care is not something to do out of weakness, but it's something to do out of strength. It'll nourish your soul and your mind and your spirit, and you'll feel so much refreshed afterwards. When situations feel bleak, having a self-care day is so important for your mental well-being, and I think is very underrated in this community. So I really do encourage you, if you've been going through a hard time recently, just to take a step back, relax, breathe, 
and really remember what's important, and that's your overall health, not just your physical health, but also your mental. Also, I didn't film an outro yesterday, so I'm just filming it today. Today's the 25th. I recorded that on the 24th. Um, so I'm just going to do my outro now for you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more content from me. Um, I do have a question for you guys. Um, and I posted this on my Instagram story too. I'll leave my Instagram link down below. But I was wondering, because I know that Busy Bee Karis's UFBG guides are going to be unavailable in a couple of weeks. So my question is, would you like me to continue on with reviewing the UFBG 1.0? 1.0 or would you just like me to film like random workout routines or like food videos while I am myself completing the UFBG but I won't share any more progress let me get uh let me know in the comments down below you guys and I will definitely appreciate the feedback and I will see you guys next time for either a review video or for a um new workout see you guys soon